register. Yes, you should go ahead and register because some of the grants are, what's in here is not just grants. You have grants in here, sponsorship letters, partnership letters, emails are in here, emails to council members, emails to foundations, um, emails to uh, letters to set up meetings with people, like all of that is in here. You definitely want to go ahead and get it because it's much more than grants. Um, it's also how to how to communicate with the people you need. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let, let's get started. So um, this is the overview. Actually, Kim, do you want to give the overview and just the parts of the um, parts of the software from this screen? Yeah, sure thing. All right. Oh, really? So um, hello. All right. So. So on, on, uh, on the left side, you will find, um, so the whole screen is divided into three easy digestible sections. So on the left side, leftmost, you can see the major uh, settings or major options. Uh, if you want to go to opportunities, you will be redirected to our latest opportunities, uh, which can be, which, which is easy to um, separate from. So you have filters for category, country, and templates. Um, and when you go to templates, um, you will see some of the existing um, opportunities with templates. Um, so you, as you can see, um, Dr. Hackett is uh, demoing how to filter from with templates and without templates. And so the reason for this is we want to be able to show you which of the templates or which of the grants you can readily use with templates. Um, as for without templates, we are showing you opportunities that you can research and see. And then later on, we will update them with templates. Now, on the uh, third option from the left window pane, we have the actual templates. Um, all right. So on the, on the right most, we have the help corner, which is a window pane that lets you walk through some of the more um, general information about how to get started. Um, so, for example, you will be... Um, redirected to some uh, information about eligibility requirements, guidelines, um, fun funders, focus, and priorities. And so that gives you a, a bit of an idea on how to um, set up or get started with your grant templates. And so on the middle uh, window pane is where the action happens. Um, it shows you uh, the information about templates, some lists, and um, you can even search for specific templates that picked your interest before. Um, so for example, Dr. Hackett, can we over on the Zimmer Family Foundation grant? Right. So you can visit the source and you can, you can see uh, where that grant is coming from and you can get more details about it. Yeah, there, there we go. And then on oh, the grant. Let's look at this, for example. Uh, the mm -hmm. Zimmer Foundation, they have multiple steps. Uh, you see it starts with the letter of inquiry. The letter of inquiry is this right here, um, and you submit it based on their instructions, and you always see a contact person. Whenever they say contact us, you always, always, always contact them for something. Even if you want to ask them about eligibility, you might want to ask, always, even if you think that you're eligible, whatever it is, you must, um, I shouldn't say must, well, what I'm saying to you is, if you want to get the grants, you're going to have to activate this contact us. Uh, even though people are reviewing these things and they're trying to be objective, if they know you and they're aware of you, there are better chances of you getting the grant. All right. And just so that you understand what goes into these letters of inquiry, your name, address and website, that all that should be on your letterhead, your email, phone number, contact person, your mission statement organization's annual budget amount and your tax ID number or fiscal if you're a for-profit and a nonprofit is uh, operating as your fiscal agent, then you want, want that information in there. The project description is no more than two pages. And if you have grant suite, um, then you have the project description available to you already. And then you just put in the requested amount and you attach your IRS letter. They're gonna, this one asks you to also include a one-page budget of revenue and expenses. If you have QuickBooks, that's really simple. You just download the the um, download the last year's profit and loss statement, or you download this year's current operating budget, um, and and you make sure that that's ready. That's your letter of inquiry. This one is not written. Um, is not written 
for you. This is multiple steps. All right. But we this letter of inquiry is not written for you. I should say it that way. Um, but all the pieces are available there. All right. So when to get there, um, um, Kotak, you went to um just clicked on letter, like on um available. No, we clicked on visit source, and that's what came up. Oh, visit source. Opportunity okay. Okay. visit okay. source. All right, continuing from the from uh, seeing the opportunities here, I just want to highlight one thing and key one key takeaway from how powerful Grand Suite is. Um, so what we what we imagine Grand Suite to be is um, a grant writer in your pocket. So if you go to manage profile, um, go to manage profile, do you actually um, set this up one time upon sign up? And then you get in the information of your organization into these um, into these fields. Yeah. Can you show them? Yeah. So we have organization information, and if we expand that, we get us we get a sense of uh, yeah. Okay. We can let's actually yeah. show them um, one at a time. So this is where you set it up, and it has your main organization. But some of you are not only writing for you, you're writing for more than one organization, or maybe you're doing this as a business and you're serving more than one organization. You see that I have an organization right here, Black Wall Street. That's the organization I founded and I write for them. It asks if they're nonprofit, for profit, et cetera. I put in all the information. However, I can also add an organization. To add an organization, you go here and you click the plus sign. Yes, that's so awesome. That's one of the um, powerful features of Grand Suite. We're in. You can um, put in a, a, as much organization information as you want, and you never have to enter this um, ever again. So as you can see, we've already created an, uh, an organization, which is Black Wall Street, and we're creating another one called Jordan Peer Recovery in Incorporated. So once um, what Dr. Hackett is doing in here is keying in um, all the needed information. And once that's done, we can actually apply it to multiple templates as you want. So we're not just saving you time, effort. We're also saving you um, the opportunities that you want to um, apply on later. So you're able to return from the opportunities and apply to the grants that you want. So let's just uh, wait a little bit um, to uh, finish the um, information. And so as I've said, you get to enter that one time and you can apply it to hundreds and even um, sometime later, thousands of grants at your disposal. So this is a powerful tool to apply and try it to as many, as, as many grants as you want. But of course, um, it's not just quantity that we're after, we're also after quality. That's why we made it easy for you to sift through the hundreds of grants through um, specific categories that pique your interest or relate to your organization. So the, the fields that we're, uh, Dr. Hackett is filling in here are the fields that we think most grants would require. So we've done studies on this and we know that um, this information through experience um, gets get asked um, a lot on um, previous grants or multiple grants. Okay, so while while Dr. Packet is uh, filling in information, I'm looking through the chat to see questions. Um, what to do? What do you do if your nonprofit is just starting? How does how do we submit budget? Uh, By if your Alex nonprofit is if your nonprofit is just starting then you have an estimated budget. You do this on an Excel spreadsheet. If you don't know how to do budget, um, there is a, there's a training that I do specifically on your budget. On your budget. Um, I think it's called How to Create Your Budget. Um, but Mark, you can um, give them that link if anybody needs that training on how to create your nonprofit budget. Um, if you're just starting out, it might just be $50,000. Um, but you're doing that as a proposed budget. It's what you think you might get. Once you awesome. fill in your um, your details, you click save. But if you have not 
if you have not filled in each thing, it's not going.